Like I love that. I love that. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Reno's Old Time Music Festival. And I'll tell you what, Dale and Don Wayne and myself uh, this week are going to introduce you to a gentleman that's going to definitely entertain you. Would you welcome Mr. Leroy Troy? Welcome, Leroy. Thank you much. I'll tell you what, that's some fine picking. I want to talk to you a little bit, uh, Leroy, about the claw hammer picking. Is that what you call that? Yeah, I call it claw hammer or knocking the banjo or frailing. Yes, sir. Drop thumb, several names for it. Yes, sir. Well, not many people do this. Uh, in fact, where, where did you uh, where did you learn your technique from? I learned to play this old time style banjo from a man who lives in Defeated Creek, Tennessee. Yes, sir. His name's Cordell Kemp, mm -hmm. and he's up about 85 right now. But back when he was in his teens, he, right. he learned to play from Dave Macon. Yes, sir. Remember Uncle, Uncle Dave, Dave Uncle Macon, Dave don't Macon. You? you? Yes, sir, I remember Uncle Dave, Dave Macon. Dave Macon taught him how, yes, sir. Cordell taught me. Well, on, on, a, little, a little later in the show, we're going to have you show a little bit of Uncle Dave. You, they'll see a little bit of Uncle <laughs> Dave Macon uh, style and uh, the way that Uncle Dave would uh, would take the banjo and spin it around. I, I assume that that come from the Bogville area where you, am I right? Uh, yeah, I heard that he learned it from the traveling Bible shows and the, the medicine shows and stuff. medicine shows it it yeah. come it was handed down yeah. it's a style that's been played since the 1830s or right. 40s when right. the minstrel style music well how did you get interested in this Leroy well I just by chance I reckon yeah I brought a record home from the library one day and it was a grand old opera record and one of the performers on it was Dave Macon, mm -hmm. and my grandmother heard it. She said, Dave Macon. She, she remembered said, him. Oh, yeah. She, she said that he was, a, he was the best entertainer around. Oh, yeah. Well, now, wasn't he on the Grand Ole Opry for many years? Yeah, he was on it. Uh, well, he didn't start performing, uh, you know, but mm -hmm. at the Opry, right. Until right. he was about 50 years old. Is that right? My and God. he was on the Opry. Uh, he was up. He was on it up till about age 81. Of course, he died at mm -hmm. age 81. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. You're really carrying on the tradition tremendously, Roy, and I'm very proud of you for doing it. Well, thank you. You bet. And I, I know uh, uh, you and I are live. Well, basically, we live pretty close together. You're in Goodlettsville, and I'm in Hendersonville. And I happened to be driving by the other day, and uh, saw you out there on the bridge doing a little cat fishing. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I wanted to stop and sort of throw a, a line out with you, but uh, well, I. Uh, you've sure been welcome. Well, I'll tell you, well, let's go cat fishing sometime. We'll do it. Definitely. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, Leroy. I'm gonna let you get over there and get with a couple of them hair-legged boys and <laughs> sort of entertain a little bit. But I appreciate you being with us on Reno's Old Time Music Festival. All right. Thank you, Leroy. All right. Thank you. Hey, would you make welcome, uh, I'll tell you what, now you're going to enjoy this, and, and you better go get your VCRs ready because you might want to tape this anyway. <laughs> would you make welcome Brother Leroy Troy?
get me a jug of whiskey, guard. Give it all to Misty. Keep her good and high and boozy all the time. time, time. Keep her good and high and boozy all the time. I just want to sort of talk to the family a little bit, talk to my younger brothers. We've been getting a lot of mail. Simon Slick. He'd roll his eyes and switch his tail and how that mule could kick. He carried him down to the bottom of the hill, hitch him to a cart. He loved that mule and the mule loved him with all his mealy heart. That mule would say, that mule would say, or try to. I tell you what, if you don't enjoy that Johnson's old gray mule, you ain't gonna enjoy anything. That's tremendous, Leroy. No, hey, we've sure. enjoyed having you and the mic. Good job. You too, Billy. We've enjoyed having you on Reno's Old Time Music Festival uh, this week. And uh, by George, it's about time for us to go fishing, ain't it? By George, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's close uh, the festival out uh, this uh, week with a little bit of Alabama Jubilee. How do you do that? All righty. Right like this, starts in the sea and drop down to that A chord. Oh, okay. <laughs>
<laughs> That's the way to do it. Bye.